hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i trim my hair while it's blow dried so as you can see my hair is already blow dried i do have the video up on my channel already i'm going to do another comparison video with this brush because someone commented underneath that video that i'm supposed to use it like a proper you know like a round brush so i'm gonna try it again but if you want to see the blow drying routine i did this time i'll link it in the description box below so i'm just giving my hair once over so that's as straight as possible and can you see those see-through ends that's all from the hair loss that i've been experiencing and that's why we're here today we're gonna catch those dead ends okay <laughs> Once I'm done blow drying, I comb all of my hair backwards. And once I put my hair back, I put the white clip in. So once I put the clip in, I go ahead and secure it using the clasp on the end. And then I'm gently pulling the clip down to where I want to cut it. And I have to maneuver my arms in this way to reach the clip. Or you can get someone to help you to pull it down to where you want to cut it. Once I'm happy with the position, I swing the hair around and cut straight across. Yes, I know, I could cut more. I've read the comments. <laughs> I've read some comments already saying I could cut more because, you know, the back hairs are not getting cut. But I am trying to grow out my hair loss. <laughs> so my hair is going to be very, very uneven. So I'm going to be doing these straight cuts for a few months until my hair grows out. So yes, they will eventually get cut too so don't worry <laughs> so this is what my hair is looking like so far and now i'm going to trim the front sections using the pink smaller clip so i'm just roughly taking the front section from my crown down to my ear i comb it out first and then i put the clip in and pull it down to where i want to cut it and i cut straight across I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and once I'm finished both sides I'm going to do some face framing layers. They're not really layers, it just makes my hair look a bit more flattering. So it frames my face a bit better. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I do have a few other tutorials of me cutting my hair with these clips. So if you do want to see those videos as well I will link them in the description box below. But these clips, guys, has made my hair cutting so much easier. I hardly make any mistakes now. <laughs> so I'm just taking that front section that I parted off and putting the clip in. And this time I'm going to pull the clip diagonally and then trimming straight across. So that's going to give me like a diagonal shape. And then I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of my hair. So this doesn't really make much difference while my hair is blow dried. But once my hair is curly, my hair is going to have a really nice frame to my face. So that's what I want. And that's what I need. Okay. <laughs> so I've been using these clips for about two years now. And as I mentioned, my haircuts have been an absolute breeze. I will leave the link for them in the description box below. But yes, I haven't had any botch cuts with these, so I definitely recommend. <laughs> Once I'm done cutting, I take down all the sections and comb it out just to see if everything's nice and straight and even. So as you can see, the ends are looking so much better. And I could have cut more to get some more density in my hair, but I want to trim a little bit at a time to get my density back because I did decide I'm not going to do a big chop after the hair loss. I'm just going to let my hair do its thing and cut my hair straight across like I did in this video for the next year or so and just see how it goes. I didn't go ahead and straighten my hair this time around. I was just blow drying to cut my hair because this was in summer. So I literally blow dried my hair just to cut it. So here's that video. <laughs> But yes, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos from myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.